Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini has warned that U.S. is not trustworthy, after former U.S. officials and legislators urged diplomacy with Iran's incoming President Hassan Rouhani. I said at the beginning of the Iranian year that I am not optimistic about negotiations with the U.S., though in the past years I did not forbid negotiating with U.S. about certain issues like Iraq, he said on Sunday during an iftar meal that breaks the daily fast during the Muslim month of Ramadan. The Americans are not trustworthy and they are not honest in their encounters. The stance of American officials over past months once again confirms that one should not be optimistic, he said at the iftar, attended by Rouhani and outgoing President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. The comments from Khomeini, who has the final say in the regime's macro policy issues, came less than a week after former U.S. officials and dozens of American legislators called for President Barack Obama to pursue diplomacy with Rouhani. In a letter to Obama, the ex-policymakers and some legislators had insisted that election of Rouhani, who takes office on August 3, presents a major potential opportunity and that Rouhani should be tested. U.S. legislators Republican Charles Dent and Democrat David Price have led a call for Obama to utilize all diplomatic tools with new Iranian president. Ever since his election, Rouhani has vowed to engage constructively with the international community and to ease tensions over the country's nuclear program. The U.S. has not had relations with Iran since 1979 Islamic Revolution which overthrew the pro-Western government even as U.S. has led a drive to cut off Iran's oil exports its key source of revenues, as a way to pressure Tehran to give up its nuclear program. U.S. and its allies believe the program is being used to develop an atomic bomb, a claim Iran denies.